Mark is 14 years old and his dream is to become a football player. Therefore, he has to spend long hours practicing at the stadium. Nevertheless, he always manages to water his flowers at home, as he has been taught to take care of the environment since childhood. Yeah, I've seen when I drive a car, a lot of people have drove their large bags full of garbage and just it's sent standing on the on the road like but, but why that's just a forest and it's full of garbage even though mark is quite young he's concerned about the climate change and other environmental issues in the world i feel bad when i see polar bears turning yellow when i see some animals getting their stolen people are stolen their nests birds are dying and the bird's nest is the bird's home same as our home and we're stealing their homes so i think keep the balance it's important every weekday mark attends the local school this school is located in kurtna village near tallinn and care for the environment is one of its main concerns as the day is warm and sunny, many arrive to the school riding a bicycle or roller skating. But once the school is entered, everyone has to change the boots in order to keep the building clean. Here in Kurtna, the village school has been for decades. But due to the fact that the number of children has been constantly growing, the local municipality decided to enlarge it. As a result, since 2008, the village has a brand new school that is three times bigger than the previous building. Moreover, here are used various modern technologies that are not only environmentally friendly, but also reduce the energy costs. Already from a distance, it is possible to notice that there are solar collectors on the roof of the school building. All in all, solar energy provides approximately 30% of the school's consumption of hot water. The rest of it is supplied by the district heating system. In summer, however, when there is a lot of sunlight but the school is closed, solar energy is transferred back to the district heating system. There are also solar panels on the roof that produce electricity. Even though they are not connected to the central system yet, the aim is to use them mainly for study purposes and demonstrate to students how it is really possible that sun produces energy. Today, when there is a lot of sunlight, solar collectors fully meet the school's needs for hot water. In the kitchen, the necessity for it is crucial, as here hot meals are prepared every day. Anna is a chef, therefore her responsibility is to ensure that all food products delivered to the school are always fresh and that vegetables and fruits have a significant part in the daily menu. There is not only the school in the new building, but also a sports center and a kindergarten. It is interesting that a roof of the wooden house, where the smallest ones can play outdoors in rainy days, is covered with grass. This green roof absorbs sun heat as well as rainwater and helps to maintain good microclimate inside the house. The vision of our school is to be a positive, uh, small country school, uh, and the country school itself means that we are really environmental friendly. Our actions uh, are not affecting negatively nature and the people itself. Therefore here already the first graders have no doubt that nature has to be respected. Yeah, lo, lo, to step,
pärast toid ma, et, et kui näiteks on mingi vajalik asi kasvab metsas, näiteks lillad või puud, siis neid on mõnikord ikka vaja ja siis kui, kui sa ei hoia seda loodus, siis, siis sa kõik närtsib ära. Ja. Miks on see oluline, et loodust hoida, sest loodus, see olengi ju mina ise ja... Ja ilma loodus, et mina hakkama ei saa, loodus küll saab ilma minuta hakkama. Ja kui mina seda loodust ei hoia, siis, siis ei olegi midagi lõpuks meil siin maa peal olemas. Moreover, school has its own behave, where students work with their teachers on regular basis. It's our slogan is honey lies in every blossom, since all the bees are doing a cooperation in order to get the really valuable organic material honey. Uh, in that sense, all the uh, students and all the teachers has to cooperate as well in order to get a really good educational results. So bees are like our school examples how to have the perfect cooperation. There is also an aquarium in the school, but here you would not find any exotic fish. We all live in a yellow submarine. And yeah. the reason is simple. At first, yeah. Kurtne School wants to introduce to the children the local fish living in Estonian waters. Everybody has seen uh, these Nemo fish or like sharks, but uh, uh, Maybe nobody have seen our own fishes, so just to bring our local wildlife closer to our kids. The aquarium is located between the teacher's room and the corridor, so that the students would be able to see what is happening inside the room. But more importantly, it wants to stress the notion that there shouldn't be any unnecessary barriers between pupils and their teachers. It's not a secret place that uh, uh, conspiracies or some kind of like secret ideas are born but uh, everything is uh, in cooperation with the kids and with, uh, with, this, uh, with the teachers. There are also wooden labels on the wall with teachers names on it. In that way students can clearly see what teachers are in the school at the moment. When it is time to go home the wooden label is turned the other way around. So this is a uh, Leading by example, <laughs> because otherwise, uh, if the kids, uh, if you just tell them that uh, uh, don't uh, don't use cars or just use bicycles or roller skaters, and if teachers, or if, if the teacher doesn't do what he say, uh, what he says, then there is no point. When the weather is good, the headmaster of Kurtna School is skating home. Reed and his fiancée live in a rather modest flat in Tallinn. There is no television or radio, as they prefer to spend their free time talking with each other or reading books. Everybody are driving towards the American dream. They want to have like big houses, big cars. Uh, everything has, has to be like a top level. But uh, what is important? Eventually, they probably end up being really sad. Preet is convinced that people have to change their thinking and stop the tremendous consumption of things that in many cases are actually not necessary. The really common uh, idea is that one man cannot change anything. Uh, and I have said it to my students uh, that uh, actually it's wrong. Uh, one man can actually really change something. Therefore, Preet is ready to act upon his words and to start the big change with himself. Now, sipping tea made from herbs that Preet has collected in the countryside, he dreams about his own eco-farm somewhere in South Estonia.